Hello and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Aaron Porras here with ILTV's Morning Brief. Temperatures are climbing in Israel and sadly so is the coronavirus death toll. Four people succumbing to the virus bringing the national figure to 276. The numbers now stand at over 16,600 identified as infected and of those more than 13,000 have recovered. As warnings continue around a second wave of the outbreak, a national heat wave is causing some recently opened schools to once again shut their doors, rather than forcing students to wear masks all day. The health ministry says that students in the fourth grade and up must wear masks, but after pushback from parents, that rule has been lifted during the stifling heat, and the parents' union is saying the masks shouldn't be reintroduced. <laughs> The loosened measure comes despite close to 90 Rehovot students being sent back into quarantine within the first week of classes after two staff members were found to have the virus. Time for a cheers, but not the usual spectacle at this quiet changing of the guard. Interim Defense Minister Naftali Bennett handing off the defense portfolio to the new co-prime minister and defense minister Benny Gantz as appointments are shuffled after the formation of the 35th Israeli government. Gantz saying it's emotional to return to the ministry's grounds. I do this with pride, from a sense of strength and a little, really a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little. Both ministers addressing the internal threat of coronavirus, but after just six months in the position, outgoing Bennett, not missing the opportunity to bring the current status of the well-known Iranian threat into focus. Benny, I'm going to show you the shrub when the Israel is in a good situation and a good situation, a shakit in particular, and Iran has begun a process from Syria. Gantz, himself from a military background, as former IDF chief of staff, projecting confidence and humility before the work ahead, already promising to take on the challenges left to him. This might look disgusting, but in these coronavirus times, beggars can't be choosers. An Israeli inventions and patenting company is touting this curious gadget as the best way of keeping our masks on while also being able to eat. If it isn't already obvious, Vice President of Avtipus Patents and Inventions, Asaf Gitelis, explains. The mask will be open when you want to eat, and then it will be easy to go to restaurants and to be in the public place, eat and drink. Israeli restaurants and cafes are set to open in a matter of days, and since strict hygiene measures will have to be enforced, already diners are wondering whether this could be a better solution rather than the classic mask on chin technique. I think this mask that uh, enables me to eat while I'm still wearing it, uh, it's a, it's a must-have. I would buy one, <laughs> I guess. Although, as Israel sizzles its way into summer, not everyone is convinced. Uh, I don't think this mess could, could hold with this kind of ice cream. It's dripping all over. I wouldn't want to wear it afterwards. Well, this might not be music to your ears. Much to the disappointment of hundreds of thousands of Israeli fans, the Red Hot Chili Peppers will not be arriving for their scheduled show June 10th. In light of the coronavirus, their whole 2020 tour, including their Tel Aviv show in Parc HaYarkon, delayed until June 23rd, 2021. This cancellation following several other artists like Nick Cave, Morrissey, and Celine Dion too. But as for the Chili Peppers, if you're a ticket holder, don't fret. The band is honoring all tickets purchased. That's all for now, but for more news from Israel, remember to like ILTV on Facebook and on Instagram, and to subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Aaron Porras, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.